Oceans make up 70% of the planet and provide 97% of the Earth's water. They also happen to be the planet's epicenter for climate change. The oceans are actually absorbing about a third of the carbon dioxide that we're releasing. So they're doing us this huge service because climate change would actually be worse than it is today if it weren't for the oceans. Um, but that service that they're providing us is also making them sick. Jacqueline Savitz is Oceanus Chief Policy Officer for North America. And that carbon dioxide, what it does is it changes the chemistry of the water. Um, and that is actually not so good for marine animals. Some of the water expansion and some of the melting of ice caps is also leading to sea level rise, which causes problems for, especially for coastal communities. So there's a number of different ways in which climate change is affecting the oceans. But one of the main impacts is the warming of waters and not just ocean surfaces. A new international study found deep oceans are warming at a faster pace, a pace that could accelerate even more in the coming decades. In the best case scenario, it's about seven times faster than the surface. Isaac Brito Morales of the University of Queensland in Australia led the study. Um, the, the deep ocean and biodiversity below the surface of the ocean is going to be, no, yeah, no matter what we do, it's going to be impacted by climate change. Species like black sea bass are already heading towards cooler water. However, those migrations come with their own set of consequences. When you say that this will affect marine life, it seems inevitable that that will eventually affect us on Earth. We depend on the oceans for so many things. Um, we depend on the oceans for food. We depend on them for transportation. We depend on the oceans for storm protection. Uh, we depend on the oceans for our economies. And when things get thrown off in the oceans, all of those dependencies can be affected. And so there's a lot of financial, economic, real-time um, impacts on humans when the oceans are affected. In fact, last week, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration predicted lobsters and scallops, two of the most valuable species, will be forced to migrate to cooler waters away from their current habitats. Jacqueline Savitt says this information should inspire change, especially today. You know, on World Ocean Day, uh, I think the important thing is to be optimistic. Um, people are recognizing that it affects their communities and their businesses um, and their towns. Our message is be hopeful and let's try to make some changes that matter to the oceans.